something that looks like paint, green paint on the water, or grass clippings, or pea soup. This time of year, it's not uncommon to see algal blooms like these ones on Lake Helena. They're made up of cyanobacteria, cyan because of the color they make on the water, and despite the scary name, they're usually not harmful. There's very few incident, incident instances where that cyanobacteria is actually toxic. But with the summer's heat and stagnant waters, that can change. And so cyanobacteria, when it dies, can release toxins. And if you or your pet somehow swallows those toxins, you might feel a little funny. If you're swimming in the water or if your pet is in the water, that can irritate the skin. If you drink it, it can cause um, illnesses. A serious case of harmful algal blooms in 2014 left half a million residents of Toledo, Ohio without access to the water supply for three days. Now experts say don't panic. If you do see an algae bloom in the water, most of them are harmless and there's only been one reported incident in Montana this year. But if you do think you came into contact with a harmful one, there are some things you can do. Go home and just wash off with fresh water or clean water. Wash your dog. If he's itching his skin, wash your dog. That would be great. And the next thing to do, once you're clean, you can go online and actually report seeing a, an algal bloom. The state has launched a website where you can report a description of the bloom, where you saw it, and even upload a picture. Then once we determine that those reports are valid, then we use interagency involvement, then uh, see where it goes from there. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer.